Bangkok, Thailand, and it is time for the featured fight of the night. Contested at 136 pounds, this Muay Thai bout between Yod Lek Pek and Tagir Kalilov. Here's the tale of the tape. Kalilov, two years older, but four inches taller with a slight weight advantage as Thailand faces Russia. Global rules Muay Thai in this one. That's three three-minute rounds. The 10-point must system will be used by three judges ringside. Three knockdowns, one round. That's a technical knockout. No throws or grappling. Yodlek Pek, the destroyer, faces the fearless Russian striker Tagir Kalilov with hopes of making his one championship dream come true. One championship changed my life because this is best organization in Muay Thai in the world. I want to win big names and become champion in Muay Thai at one championship. Oh, I never worry about my opponent because I have a lot of experienced fighters. I never scare and I don't care who opposite me. Putin, Yodlik Pet is a good and top fighter in the world, in Muay Thai, but I think I will be better because I have some game plan also. I come for the win and I will do all my best for this. From the blue corner, Tagir Tagir Kalilov now calls Thailand his home. Gianni, this guy has been put together some of the most entertaining fights. He's got that one contract, the one everybody wants, the one his opponent wants. Tagir Kalilov is living the dream. Just a fearless fighter inside the ring. Kalilov with some huge knockouts hey! here. One knockout victory of a short bar, earning himself the $50,000 bonus. And also here, one fighter fight stopping Black Panther in the first round to earn that $350,000 bonus. A former world title challenger, Kalidov has been able to build a gym back in his hometown, grow the community, wants to inspire the next generation, give his family, his daughter a better life. But tonight, the goal, the mission is to make a statement after a disappointing loss to one of the pound for pound best super in the ha! world title bid. Tajir Kalilov is ready to show the world again why he is one of the most dangerous men in this division. Incredible footwork, puts an extreme pace on his opponents. I like the power that this guy has in his hands. Mixes up the levels well, going to the body, can take your legs from you, but then ultimately he looks for that one hit up quitter to put your lights out. You give him the opening, Tajir Kalilov can take Take you out. Where do you think he needs to take this fight if he wants to be successful against Joe Lecter? We spoke to Kalina, who at the moment is just feeling the buzz inside this legendary new PD boxing stadium. For Kalina, the key to success will be to stay on the bike, use that quick footwork. Does not want to be a stationary target to the big.
big and strong Yotlek Pek. Use that movement to find the opening, find the counter shot against a big, strong Yotlek Pek. Tagir Kalilov is an entertainer, loves to put on a show. Let's see if he can go against Yotlek Pek. From the red corner, Yod Lek The Destroyer, Yod Lek Pen. Four time Muay Thai world champion, being flanked by the man to no one, just getting the aura of that man's sex on. You know he's feeling the vibe of this historic building, Gianni. Uh, your Beck Pet has had a fantastic 2023. Five fights here, one Friday fights. Four victories, four bonuses coming off a unanimous decision. Ultra entertaining bout against both times, which he picked up the bonus as well. His life has changed so much since arriving on one Friday fights, but there is nothing more that he wants than to follow in the footsteps of his teammate, Sixan, who has been able to jump himself, earn himself that invitation into one championship, changing his life. Yotlek Pen, that is what he wants, as accomplished as he is. His main goal now is to make it into one championship. You saw it in the feature. It is his goal, his dream, to be a contracted athlete. Man, he was running through everybody on one Friday. Fights Gianni, picked up four wins in a row, but then he ran into the elbow zombie, Mong Tai, on one Friday. Fights 34, but he still picked up the bonus, even in a losing effort. So you know this young man is extremely entertaining. Beautiful boy, my style, hand heavy. Punishing with the low kicks, beautiful boxing, all forward aggression. This is your featured fight of the night. The Y Crew Ramoy being displayed by our two featured fighters of the night. A beautiful, ritualistic dance to celebrate not only the fighter, but the head coach, the crew, the gym, and the family. Muay Thai is a sport deep ingrained into Thai culture, Gianni. What a fantastic feature fight this one's gonna be. Tagir Kalilov coming off of that world title fight against one of the pound for pound best super leg. You know he wants to come into th this one and make a statement against a three, four time, excuse me, world champion, Yodlek Pet, a man who has success here in one Friday fights, but has had yet to earn himself that invitation into one championship, a win over a contracted athlete in Tagir Kalilov. He believes that is what is necessary to punch himself that invitation, that ticket into the big show of one championship. A final prayer will be said by the head coach of each fighter as the Mong Kong is being removed from the head. Thai warriors used to wear the Mong Kong into battle, and now it is the highest respect. Coming up now, we have three three-minute rounds of a 136-pound Muay Thai contest. Presented to you by Monster Energy, Unleash the Beast. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, training out of Samming Pri Muay Thai Gym. Representing Russia, Samming Pri Tagir Halilo. And introducing his opponent, out of the red corner, he is a four-time Muay Thai world champion, training at a saw, so my, holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 88 and 34. Representing Thailand, the destroyer, Yan Le Pen.
Referee Krit Sadag yeah. giving yeah. the final yeah. instructions Ready? to our featured Ready? fighters Ow. of the night. Oh. Tagir Kalilov in the black and white. Yodlek Peck in the black and white, and we are underway. The game plan for Yodlek Peck was to attack the legs. Tagir Kalilov. Slow down some of that footwork, that ultra fast speed. Tadir Kalilov has, loves to create angles, put hand combinations together with low kicks. Yodlek Peck, very different style. Patient, stalking his prey, waiting for those shots to present themselves. Tadir Kalilov throws the inside leg kick. Such a menacing figure, Yodlek Peck. Big name, the destroyer. Stalk it now, cutting off the ring. Tadir Kalilov. Kalilov will have this. The unorthodox move with the ability to fight in both stances. He will need it. In the second and third rounds, as Yodlek Peck starts to attack that lead leg. He doesn't want to stand in front of Yodlek Peck. He needs to stay very light on his feet, create the angles, change things up. You can see just how powerful Yodlek Peck is when he throws those leg kicks, how he's moving the body. Southpaw Gianni, he keeps getting hit with these leg kicks. But he was strong at Southpaw, we saw that off that leg kick. Kalilov was able to switch it to the Southpaw hook and cross. Yodlek has that one shot power. The hand combinations come from Kalilov, but a very patient Yodlek Peck, just weathering the storm, picking his shots carefully. with a lot of fades, but with the pick, still able to find that inside low kick. Very patient as you talked about, good luck pick. Buying his time, attacking the lead leg. Opening up the wounds here. It's a straight there, Abby. What a destroyer. Just wants to go in and out, lots of movement, lots of hand combinations with kicks. But Yodlek Peck is just Good movement coming from Kalilov here in the first. 30 seconds to go in the first round. As the elbow landed by Kalilov as Yodlek Peck continues to come. from Kalilov as the 10 second chopper sounds. The belief inside of Tagir Kalilov is second to none. He truly believes he is one of the best in the world. Strong start for the destroyer, Yodlek Pen attacking that lead leg of Kalilov. Cutting off the ring, but my goodness, Samik Pride. Tagir Kalilov landed a big left hook at the end of the round. Again, this is the danger that he possesses, able to switch it to both stances. That is a beautiful elbow. That left one landed clean. But I like the adjustment from Yodlek Pet. As Kalilov switched it to Southpaw, he started to attack the body with that right hook. Slower down Kalilov, but that was a big left, a lunging left hook that landed for Kalilov at the end of that round. Stunning Yodlek Pet. I don't think he expected this type of whirlwind coming at him from Tagir Kalilov, yeah. but this is how Kalilov fights, man. He creates those awkward angles, beautiful hooks coming over the guard, puts together low kicks well, lots of feints and movement. Once Yodlek Peck starts marching forward, Gianni, it is hard to stop this Muay Thai juggernaut. Confident and fluid Kalilov is gonna be a tough man to beat. Best part is just been in there with the very best coming up. World title fight with pound and pound best. Super leg. Rosie Bilal is there in there with the best. But similarly, we have to put a lot of a job into the championship to have this place. A contract for one athlete and Tyre Kalila. This will be the test to see if he's ready to step up, Mitch. Kalila putting combinations together and putting on a show here on one Friday fights, looking for the spin. Yodlek Peck's defense 
First round finish. The second round started to let the hands go a little bit more with the combinations, but single shots from your leg pen always dangerous with these counters. He's able to counter with the elbows. That's a big right hook and the left straight also landed clean, as well as the low kick on the inside from your leg pen. Another look at the counter left, but cut it off again with the volume in this one. Ultra interesting. This one has been so close, Mitch. Very close. First two rounds, this third round could be the one that decides it here. Tagir Kalilov has that one contract, the one that everybody wants. Yoldlek Peck needs a big win here. You gotta show dominance, you gotta show consistency if you wanna secure that $100,000 contract that can lead to millions of dollars on the big show, Gianni, turn you into a global superstar. Forwarded by six out of men who recently just earned that $100,000 contract to go. They've been telling him to go forward in this last round. Nice right hand there. So slick his style, so fun to watch. Against the power of the single shots of Ripper Pet. Tahir Kalilov is answering those shots as he goes elbow and then spins into one. Good defense on the back foot as he puts the combination together. Tahir Kalilov is coming into this in rare form. Yeah, this is the best we've seen look in a while. He was motivated and needed to put on a big performance after the loss. Super left. This is game opponent, very willing to give him that sort of fight. Yet that pet the destroyer, four-time world champion, a man hoping to create a legacy of his own. Once I earned that one contract, change a lot of his family. The tie up with a nice right hand there against the ropes. Both guys want to leave this out of the judges' hands and get a big knockout finish. Beautiful handiwork coming from Tahir Kalilov as Yodlek Peck continues to hunt. Having a hard time with his speed, Gianni. Yodlek Peck trying to walk him down, but Kalilov able to land his combinations. Yodlek Peck needs to go back to low kicks first. 
Cole will kick it from the outside. It's Tagir Kalilai. Kalilai going inside. The legs going up top to the head and finishing with a body shot. Changing the level so well, but it's that work beneath the chin that is so good from Kalilai here in this fight. His knees to the body inside the clinch. Good leg pair tries to swim in, frames off. Referee Kritsada separates. 45 seconds to go in our featured fight of the night. Good leg pair looking for the elbows. It's a nice right hand there again for Kalilai with that southpaw stance. So fluid with his style, able to attack with both stances. Frames off the tax with the elbow. Good leg pick these balls right here in this third round. So close. 20 seconds to go. Yobek Peck continues to hunt, looking for that one shot. Tagir Kalilov chooses volume. Quantity over quality. Yobek Peck hunts for the elbow. And the featured fight comes to an end. Tagir Kalilov, Yobek Peck go the distance. Anatoly Malakin rushes in and embraces Tagir Kalilov. He believes Tagir's done enough. No bit so close. The end of that first round, that big right hand scored heavy for Kalilov, but the low kicks as well from Yotlek Pent were his big weapon in this one. Straight shots and the counter elbows from Yotlek Pent. The volume definitely in favor of Kalilov in the third and final round, I believe. Take a look at some of the slick combinations. Crispier than a piece of KFC fried chicken, bitch. <laughs> Crispy, sharp, good, high-level striking showcased in our feature fight of the night. One Friday Fights is the global platform in search of the next global superstar. And two superstars just went to war. One's got the contract. Wants it. Now we get to hear from the only opinions that matter. The three judges sit in ringside as we go to Nara for the official decision in what was a very entertaining featured fight of the night. This match was presented to you by Monster Energy. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. Judge number one calls this contest in favor of Halilov. Judge number two calls this contest in favor of Yodlik Pit. And judge number three calls this contest in favor of your winner by split decision. Tagir Halilov! Tagir Kalilov by split decision, Gianni. Very close, very close. What a victory for Tahir Kalilov, taking out a four-time world champion in Yotlek Pen by Lee. Ah! It was the output, the volume, the footwork, and the shots. Ah! Non-stop, Tahir Kalilov picking up a huge victory here inside a one 